Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset. And in this video, I will show you the best USB Wi-Fi adapters that are compatible with the latest version of Kali Linux. By the end of this video, I will give you a bonus tip on how to increase the maximum range of the current USB Wi-Fi adapters without buying a new one. If you are new to this channel, just to let you know that we will be posting Kali Linux penetration testing, Arduino, Raspberry Pi and other hacking projects and tutorials using latest Wi-Fi adapters and tools every week. So make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button here so that you won't miss the future videos. There is a smaller selection of hardware drivers in Kali Linux as compared to Windows. Even though many new Linux hardware drivers are constantly being added, support for older devices has stopped. Finding the right USB Wi-Fi adapters for Kali Linux can be a difficult task. Recently, Kali Linux 2018.2 was released which updated the world's best penetration testing OS with some neat hardware support including support for some new USB Wi-Fi adapters to play around with Wi-Fi networks. Here are a list of best USB Wi-Fi adapters that are fully compatible with latest Kali Linux that can go into monitor mode, inject packets and perform everything that is needed for a fully fledged Wi-Fi penetration testing. You can simply check out the link in the description. The first one, TP-Link TLWN722N. This is the best USB Wi-Fi adapters for beginners. Powered by Atheros AR9271 chipset, this is a cheap and compact USB Wi-Fi adapter that can act as a Wi-Fi adapter to your home desktop PC, an alternative to your inbuilt Wi-Fi chipset in your laptop and a really handy module during travel. This USB Wi-Fi adapter complies with IEEE 802.11n and provides a speed of up to 150 Mbps. This is a plug and play adapter that is compatible with most versions of Linux including Kali Linux. It also have a 3 dBi omnidirectional antenna which will extend the range of the transmission or reception which makes it perfect for indoor penetration testing. This is the Wi-Fi adapter that I use for making mobile hacking station using Raspberry Pi. Next, Alpha AWS 036 NSA. I have been using this long range network adapter and let me tell you guys this is the best Wi-Fi adapter I have ever used. Coupled with its long range antenna, it can successfully deauthenticate clients from afar and is the best Alpha network adapter for packet injection. This one is also based on Adros AR9271 chipset. It is this Wi-Fi adapter that I used to make this long range Wi-Fi hacking station which could hack a Wi-Fi network 2 miles away. We will come to this by the end of this video. The link is provided in the description. Alpha AWS 036NH This is another Wi-Fi adapter from Alpha that can support IEEE 802.11 BGN wireless networks with a speed of 150 Mbps. Powered by Rylink RT3070, this is a plug and play adapter that is compatible with most versions of Linux including Kali Linux. This one comes with a 5 dBi omnidirectional antenna as well as a 7 dBi panel antenna. It also comes with a clip that can be used to attach this adapter on a laptop. The only drawback of this Wi-Fi adapter is, it doesn't play well with WPS attack tools such as Wash and Reverb. But the packet injection speed is much more faster than the previous one. Next, Alpha AWS 1900. This USB Wi-Fi adapter will take your hacking skill to a whole new level. So far, this is the best Wi-Fi adapter available for Wi-Fi hackers. Even though it's a bit costly, it's totally worth the price. It supports IEEE 802.11 AC, A, N, G and B standards that means it can handle 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. It have a USB 3.0 interface for high speed data transmission with a wireless data rate of 600 Mbps for 2.4 GHz and up to 1300 Mbps for 5 GHz networks. This one is also compatible with Kali and works with all hacking tools. Alpha AWS 036ACS A few months back Kali Linux 2018.2 was released and the popular distro came up with a significant update, support for RTL8812 AU wireless chipset. This is a powerful Wi-Fi adapter with dual band technology and support 802.11 AC, A, B, G and N standards. These antennas are removable and if you want higher range you can connect antenna with greater dBi value. Now let us go to the bonus tip. 
increasing the range. Did you see my previous video in which I told you about this long range Wi-Fi hacking station? If you haven't, I will put the link in the description. Go check that out. Most of the Wi-Fi routers and USB Wi-Fi adapters allow you to change the inbuilt antenna. Usually, the inbuilt antenna that are provided by the manufacturers will be 3 dBi or 5 dBi or sometimes up to 9 dBi power gain, which is very low when compared to that of currently available antennas. So, if your USB Wi-Fi adapter does support an external antenna, you can get a higher gain antenna like a 12 dBi or a 24 dBi, which will significantly increase the Wi-Fi range. In the next video, I will give you a list of best Wi-Fi antennas which can be connected to USB Wi-Fi adapters which will allow you to hack Wi-Fi networks which are really far away. So make sure you subscribe this channel for future videos. I'll see you on the other side.